Hey, where y'all been? Probably nowhere, sitting in the house, can't go nowhere, nothing's open. <sighs> I'm out here taking a walk, trying to get in shape. That's something that we usually try and do for vacations, right? And I need to look good on YouTube nowadays. Oh, I need to watch one more. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna fall out here, embarrass myself. So we found some things that we want to do in Georgia and found out I got some family in Georgia area too. Not too far from Canton. Forgot they even lived out there. So, um, yeah, even though I'm exercising, I'm still gonna get those biscuits though. Yeah, so I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm about to walk up this hill. I'm gonna be breathing real heavy. All right, bye. <laughs> So I have researched a few places on the internet and I think I found some places that we want to go. I have my two college girls here. Say hey. Hey. Hey, I'm Sade. I'm Jada. All right. So the first place I think that we would like is Pond City Market. They have a bunch of food. Um... So here's some of the food places. Like I know you probably would like the winery. Oh, a batter cookie dough counter. Oh, edible cookie dough. Okay, I like that. So yeah, a lot of food places. A candy shop for Carrie. Then I'm it. Go to the winery. I'm sure. And oh, then the roof is oh, more. Fire for um for like older people but they do have like games and stuff and they're still talking about things are closed there but i thought georgia was one of those states that opened up right now so i don't know is it, so is it next week it opens up mm -hmm. or is it this week, week i don't know but i'm just doing a little glance over right now i'm not gonna go deep into it but i'm hoping that few of the things will be open so we won't have to just sit in a hotel all right the next thing is tiny doors now tiny doors is just like an art project that i guess someone did and decorated the belt line but the belt line has um like artwork and all that type of stuff and then this particular lady she put little doors and stuff everywhere Oh, it has doors and maps. Yeah, so I'm just giving you the website. And so, what we would do, Jada, okay. is do a bike ride around here, around this belt line. So, they have the electronic, electronic bikes that you like and the scooters. Yeah. What are those scooters that you like? It's a I lot don't... of different ones. Yeah. There's birds, there's lime, there's spins. I don't know you what kind of they have. Yeah, they have a whole bunch of stuff. So, you know what else they do? They do yoga in the park. Now that right there, if I live there, coronavirus. Mm, I think I would do it. It's like King Pop because they got this pop stuff. I'm not gonna give too much information because I, you know, haven't researched it. I'll be giving wrong information. But, um, so you see the links right up here to where I'm going, and then. The Trap Music Museum. Now you said who who started this? Mm-hmm. And then I also two chains has something to do with it too. And then I know they have something like honoring Nipsey Hustle. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then what I also like about it, and I think your father would be interested in it too, even though he was like he didn't really want to go, is the escape room. So yeah, that seemed like it should be good. And it has merch. So it should be cool. They don't have anything about COVID-19 on their side. So they might be open right now. I'm not sure. I don't know. So then there's this one guy that gave me a lot of good advice on um atlanta 
What? Two, three. Avengers of Will! Hey guys, what's up? It's Will Edmund with the Adventures of Will, and today we're in my beautiful city, Atlanta, Georgia. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best things to see, eat, and do. So let's go on adventure. Let's beast it. Yeah, so his um, channel was pretty good. It had a whole bunch of stuff like where to eat and just things to do. He had like Instagrammable um, places too. He has a website. So go check him out. His name is Will Edmund. And um, I recommend his page. Hey, I am one. back. All right, so we're going to carry on from what I was talking about in the last video. And I ended off with having enough money to do what you want to do. So in order to do that, a lot of us need to save. So I was fortunate enough to be able to save a portion of my tax refund. And then I was also able to save a certain amount a month. I have my husband's support. So, you know, he pays what he pays and then I pay what I pay and then we're able to save. Um, I also do a little side job sometime. I was a, um, uh, um, what you call them? Brand ambassador. You know, those people who you may see in Target and they're like pushing a product, want you to eat something. You see them at Costco too, but it's a little different because with um, this program that I was in is called BigOrangeProductions.com. You work when you want to work, um, where you want to work, no set schedule. So if you're interested in making some extra money and it be kind of fast and pretty easy, no one lingering over you telling you, you know, this is what you got to do, when you got to do it, how you want to do it, BigOrangeProductions.com. Try it out. So I made some money that way but the biggest thing i did was just put away a portion of my check every time i got paid what people always say is pay your bills then you gotta pay yourself so i pay my bills pay myself and then i made sure that i saved did a little bit of tithing too because I'm a Christian, but I'm not going to get into that. If we want to talk about that, we could talk about that later. But I think that helped a little bit too, to be honest. So um, one of the things that I saw on Pinterest, I have not tried it yet. I started it, but then I stopped for some reason. This was a couple of years ago when we went to um, California, but it was working out good. But I don't know why I stopped. It's to... Um, so you can save five hundred dollars in 31 days so seems pretty simple so the first day you save a dollar the second day you save two dollars three dollars four dollars all the way up to 31 and you end up with five hundred dollars in a month just go to pinterest and put in save hot five hundred dollars in 31 days follow the steps and you will be able to save your money so yeah, so what I have done, and actually, let me not say that I have done it. I started it, and I did not finish it. It was something that I saw on Pinterest. It saved $500 in 31 days. So they have you put, um, they have it all printed out for you, how much you save each day. And it's pretty doable. I don't know why I stopped. It was when we were planning on our vacation to California. I don't know how far I got. I think it's because I didn't keep up. I w it wasn't like on the wall or something that I could see where it'd be like, okay, today is day 35. I need to put away. What would it be day 35? It's 31 days. Today is day 25. I got to put away $25. I didn't do that. But you could do it. You could do it. Um, also they have the travel savings plan. I have not tried that out and it's where you take 10 weeks and you could save a thousand dollars. That's pretty good. 10 weeks. That's like two and a half months, maybe depending on how the months go, how the weeks go. So, um, yeah, week one, $75, week two, a hundred dollars. I like that. I might try that 
once I come back from this trip. So maybe you can um, do something like that. So go into Pinterest and put how to save $500 in a month and then a whole bunch of other stuff will come up. Okay. All right. Got that. Now, the next thing, and hold up, I want y'all to stay to the end because there's going to be a challenge question. With this challenge question, you're going to be able to um, get your business put out there. I'm going to shout you out. I'm going to say your name several times through the next um, recording or next video. All right. So car rentals. One of the things that you have to do is consider how you're going to get around wherever you're getting around. Depend this trip right here, we're driving, and I'm not going to use my car because it's hard on the car. It's a nine-hour drive from Virginia to Georgia, and we always get a minivan. So I can put all of my kids in there. We can have space, put our bags and everything, and we drive on down to um wherever we got to go. We've drove to Florida 12 hours. We only had two drivers the last time we went to Florida. Now we got three because I got a daughter who has traveled a lot on her own and I feel comfortable with her driving. My other daughter who drives, not yet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She's got a few more years. Mm -mm. We want to all be safe. So um, car rentals, that's something that you can consider. Especially if you're taking a plane somewhere. And that's a whole nother conversation. But we're not going to get into that because I'm not doing a, a, a plane right now. So I'm not going to talk about it. But when we go somewhere next year, my husband and I, we're going to have to get a plane. So then we'll talk about that. The whole real ID and all that stuff like that. So not this time. We're just talking about rental cars. So we usually go through... Um, usually go through um it starts with the e can y'all help me are y'all listening it starts with y'all not giving me no answers what's going on <laughs> um so we have gone through budget avis but the one i like the most is I told you, my, my brain going. Dang. What is going on with me? <sighs> Need to eat more vegetables. Enterprise. See, I knew y'all knew. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, yeah. Enterprise. So, we get a little percentage off sometimes when we use Enterprise. And then my husband's in place of employment they give you a little discount on rental cars and hotels too so that's pretty good so we use all of that but if you sign up with their rewards program you usually end up um coming out you know at least with um uh, some type of discount then there's also coupons that float around on the internet and also like if you got triple a that's good for hotels and car rentals so please just don't get the first thing that you see. Do a little comparison chart if you have to. Um, click around, you know, if you put in, especially when it, I'm skipping on over to hotels or whatever. So like say you got two kids, got two adults or whatever. Some hotels, they will charge for the kids. Some of them won't. So, you know. Do what you got to do to make sure that you get what you want for the best price possible. Yeah, so we, with the hotel portion, we go with booking.com. I've been doing things through booking.com so much that I'm in the genius program. I give reviews, same thing with TripAdvisor too, but with booking.com, you get a percentage off. They have like these secret deals and you just you know, you plug your stuff into, and then you get this um, amazing price on some hotels. What I also like about um, some of the hotels is that you don't have to pay right away, and they give you a good amount of time to 
um, cancel your booking. Like for instance, the incident that happened recently is we were all booked and ready to go to Myrtle Beach, but you know, the stuff that's happening now, um, we had to cancel everything. And so I had it where, you know, we didn't have to pay anything and we just tell them, boom, we can't go. No problems canceled. They didn't take any money from us. So when you're booking, you got to make sure that you, there is no cancellation cost. Also with my family, because we're big, either it needs to have a kitchen in there, like a full out kitchen, like stove, refrigerator, microwave, or I really like for it to have um, a breakfast because we like to eat. The particular hotel that I'm staying at now, um, it just has the breakfast and because my mother-in-law is there, we'll probably be like eating at her house sometimes, but then I also do plan on going out to eat too. But um, yeah, so most of the time we'll try and get the whole like resort type um, deal. So that is about it for now on that type of stuff. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Then talk about Airbnbs because I have not done an Airbnb. I'm kind of scared of an Airbnb. I was going to do an Airbnb when we're going to go to um, OBX, the Outer Banks. Next time, I'm going I'm to carry y'all through. I'm going to carry y'all through everything we do. And I'm planning on doing a whole bunch. So stick with me, y'all. Stick with me, y'all. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now we're gonna have the challenge question. I get my. I gotta get my um little six year old. She wanna come in here and read it for you guys. Okay. So give me a minute. I'm gonna get her straight. I don't know what she's doing in there. This is Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, what grade are you in? All right, she's going to read our challenge question today <laughs> and a little bit of rules. So you can. Look, baby. Well, I, have, I have a tablet and I, die, and I have a bike. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. And I know how to tie shoes. Oh my gosh, you know so much. All right, so rules, rules, rules. Rules, <laughs> You can answer as much as you want, but. It's only one answer per comment. So you put, like, say the answer is um, 14. And you would wait for a response from me. And if it's the right answer, I'll let you know. If it's the wrong answer, you could put another comment in and say the answer is 20. Okay? <laughs> so um, that's how that will work. Once I... It's going to be the first person who gives me the right answer will be the person that I spotlight on. Kikis. <laughs> um, the first one that I spotlight. One thousand dollars. That would be nice if I can give them one thousand dollars, but I can only spotlight you on the next um video or the video. Like for instance, if it's like ten of y'all. I mean, not ten of you. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, so the next time I'll shout out the other person. So if you have a Instagram, a Snapchat, a business or something that you want me to say, then let me know. Okay? All right. So here we go. Your turn. Why? All right. Still the show. Go ahead. Read your. Read your what does. What does is design? What design is on the tail side of the Georgia? Georgia. <laughs> the Georgia. Georgia. Quarter. State quarter. State, state, state quarter. All right. So let me read it again. In case y'all didn't understand her perfect reading. What design is on the tail side, the tail side of the Georgia State Quarter? Again, what design is on the tail side of the Georgia State Quarter? Ready, set, go! Give me your answer. <laughs> All right, see y'all next time. Bye. Safe travels. Bye.